know, I really did look at dates for the beer tour. That's awesome. I was thinking either the week before the preseason, because there's no break between the preseason and the regular season, right? There's no week break. I don't think there's a week break. Because that would be a good time if there was one, or the bye week. The bye week would be killer. Do a bye week Bills tour, okay. beer tour. I got, I got a very interesting concept. It just came to me. Okay. Um, I want to, I want to do, I want to do battles. Okay. Position battles, but with us. Okay. Here's what I want to do. You only get thirty seconds to make your point. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh, stop! Oh, look at that. Okay, let's do it. Right guard. Uh, who do you want to be? Uh, well, I mean, are we figuring Quentin Span as in this conversation? Do all the guards, man. All the guards. All the guards. Okay. So you're going with Span? I'll take Span. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Feliciano. Okay. Okay. And so tell me why Quentin Span okay. goes. Quentin Span will be the starting right guard. Well, not to start the season. I guess it's a pretty bad argument. <laughs> uh, Quentin Span will end up being the long-term starter uh, because he's just nasty. The guy is simply nasty. He was a scheme fit problem for Tennessee. Uh, they wanted to get away from the scheme that they were running, so Quentin Span was available via free agency. I think his contract was an issue why a lot of people were staying away from him. Uh, Bill's got him for a song, as far as I'm concerned, and I just don't see anybody nastier than Quentin Span on this offensive line of right guard. Excellent. Right at 30. Look at That's you. That's it. Hey, man. Okay. All right. Sorry, the reason why I think Feliciano is going to be the starting right guard is because Span was one of their last signings that they had. He wasn't on the radar initially. Feliciano was one of the first guys that they signed. The percentage of Feliciano's contract that is guaranteed is around 67%. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those guys where they went first to go get, and they said, listen, he's going to be our guy. He is nasty. He does grade out well. He grades out better as a left guard than a right guard. Mm -hmm. I understand that. So does Span. Mm -hmm. But in that respect, you want to put a guy that's a veteran guy, a guy that you went out to get next to your starting right tackle, which is going to be Ford. All right, not too shabby. I was surprised that we were able to yeah, not too us. shabby. So the fact that Feliciano is also the swing center uh, at the first OTAs doesn't bother you at all. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> I need to know these things. You're starting at center because Morris is out. Feliciano? Yeah. What's wrong along? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not there. Next, uh, next position battle. Position battles. Um, I can't. I was just so excited. Uh, uh, Lawson and Murphy. Okay, I'll take Trent Murphy. You will? Yeah, I'll okay. take Trent Murphy. Oh, this Do you suck. know why? No, yeah. I'm going to find out. Though. Yeah, you are. All right, go. So I'm taking Trent Murphy for my complete disdain of <laughs> Shaq Lawson and this system. So I don't really think that Murphy's better. He's just not Shaq Lawson. <laughs> so um, if Murphy can stay healthy, he does bring a dynamic of speed on that side that Lawson really doesn't bring. I understand that we talk about them as being comparable players, but Murphy is really just a better pass rusher than Shaq Lawson. Um, so I like Murphy a little bit more at that position. It is, it is tough. But if Murphy can continue to play 13, 14 games for the Bills, the contract's still a steal. <laughs> you still said is. 13, 14 games. Yeah, that's it. 13, 14 games, contract's still a steal. Because it's so hard to find rotational talent that can produce. So I'm yes. down with that. That's fine. Okay. Contract notwithstanding, I think Shaq Lawson will be your better starting uh, defensive end because it's almost like you're at the end of the rope with a car that you have. You're like, listen, all right. We're not. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna run it into the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna use as much of it as I can. The other guy I, I, I have, I got you know, under contract. So I'm just gonna use this guy up as much as I can to try to save the other guy. We got a rotational front. Um, and you know what? I just think he's a better player at the end position. Why are you lying, the folks? <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> Counterpoint, right? Um, never draft a player from Clemson. All right, next awesome. position, man. All right, next <laughs> position battle. It's a curveball. Mm -hmm. It's not really a position. Okay. <laughs> Dable versus Dorsey. Oh, yeah. No, I'll take it. Yeah, you know what side of the coin I'm taking. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, and go. So, Brian Dable is bad at calling plays. <laughs> That's it. He's great, great at working up game plans, right? Yes. That's, that, that is a strength of his. But when it comes to in-game adjustments... Uh, really, really, really struggles. 
Um, did he, I mean, did he have a sandwich to eat last season? <laughs> sure did, right? But uh, the truth be told, he really has had minimal success wherever he's gone. And a good offensive coordinator turns average players into above average players. He just doesn't do that. Wait, who are you arguing? You're arguing for Dorsey? Yeah. We never mentioned his name that once. It doesn't matter. Anybody's better. Give me so, Byron Leftwich. <laughs> so I have to argue for Brian Dable? Yeah. All right. It's nice knowing you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. What is? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, ready? I got one. Salem's hot dogs are, without a doubt, a Buffalo staple. And they're way better than ballpark hot dogs, which you have to argue for. Why do I have to argue? Why do you do this to me? Why? Because when you grill them, they get plump. Listen, I can make the argument for you, but I'm not doing that. Why did no, you... Salem's are, are a staple. Like, in my house, we have Salem's hot dogs. We only use them on the grill. If you want to chop hot dogs up and add them to anything, you have to buy other hot dogs. Because don't waste the Salem's. On chopping them up and mixing into things. Sandwich hot dogs, tailgate staple. Staple with PBR. <laughs> I, my question is this. All right, I'll start it. Fine. Here's my question. Why do you have me do a debate of something I don't even eat? I don't eat hot dogs. I can't stand hot dogs. They're rolled up pieces of bologna. Yeah. Okay? The leftovers of all the animals. I don't eat it. Okay, mm -hmm. why would you get in a debate with me about a hot dog when I don't eat it? I just thought your time in prison made but, you... <laughs> It'd be like asking me how I like ranch. I should ask you. <laughs> and that's the game. <laughs>